Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. If you were here yesterday and you had a family or a friend who performed in the choir and orchestra concert, welcome back. If you haven't been here for almost two full years for a band concert. Yeah, it's almost been two years to the day since we had our last live performance of the band on the jazz band. I'll tell you, we're really excited to get back and to play for you tonight. So we're going to start. The group you see in front of you is our jazz ensemble. We've got a couple of holiday tunes prepared for you and then a couple of traditional jazz tunes. So we are going to start off with Jingle Bells. We hope you enjoy it. My name is Mr. Russell, and I am the gentleman who is lucky enough to work with these guys 
um, every day during school. This is a class. It's a very unique class, very different from any other music class that they've taken. Um, through their time learning their different instruments, they learned the techniques and they read out of books and they, they learn from fingering charts and sheet music and all this kind of stuff. And then they get to a class like jazz band and it's like, cool, now you know what you're doing to read somebody else's music. Now let's create your own music from what you've heard. We start that process with, with what we call interpreting. So obviously that was jingle bells, but we just simply say, cool, kind of make it your own. You know a little bit about, about theory. We talk about that during class time. And now use some of your theory knowledge to just make it sound a little bit different to make your own. So let me see if I get my soloist in order. And I, I'm gonna forget somebody. I'm sure Andrew Malone started on bass. Ethan Smith on flute. Jackson Frazier on alto saxophone. Matthew McNamara on euphonium. Caleb Denio on Denio on violin. Rowan Garaggio, I always say that wrong, I apologize, Rowan, on piano. And Jackson Lalos on the drum. So now we're gonna go to one of our traditional jazz tunes, Sonny Rollins, a great tenor saxophone player, um, was um, an innovator in the jazz improvisation world during the bebop era of the 50s and 60s. One of his uh, most popular tunes is Tenor Madness. Well, we're not playing Tenor Madness. Are we playing Tenor Madness? We are playing Tenor Madness. Boy, an old moment, old man moment. So here we go. You're now gonna listen to these guys. They've worked on improvising using the blues. And we've listened a lot, and they've found recordings of blues artists that they enjoy on their own particular instrument. We've shared them during class time. And now it's their turn to create their own blues improvisation over tenor madness.
I have in order that was Caleb Denio. And then we went to Jackson Frazier, East Ethanston, and Andrew Malone. Well, now we're going to be going further back in time where this improvisation thing came from. Uh, we're going back to W.C. Handy uh, with the great tune, St. Louis Blues. Improvising on this one, we're going to feature Jackson and Caleb again. They're going to trade sections of the song. Thank you, everybody, and we hope you enjoyed our portion of the concert.
So I think this would be a great time for Pops to do their 50-50 raffle. Um, and then we're going to do a quick set changeover and get ourselves ready for the band portion of the concert. Thank you very much, everybody. So welcome back. The group in front of you is our concert band, also known as, as our marching band. Um, compared to last year, we had a very busy marching season this year. Six football games we got to play in. Um, we did the opening day ceremony for the teachers. We did the rededication of the football field, the Shabbat McDonough field. Um, we did a couple of parades. And coming up very soon at the end of the school year, during the school day, will be Christmas caroling for our friends here at school. So, boy, we're getting pretty back to normal as this music world is going, and that's what we were hoping for. And I think, as we've been talking since the semester has begun, like, maybe the world isn't back to where we want it to be yet, we've got a ways to go, but musically, we're able to celebrate what we can do. Um, so we're looking forward to performing for you tonight. Our first piece, is um, a traditional tune called Celtic Variation. We hope you pre appreciate it and enjoy it.
Before we uh, play our last number for the concert this evening, I do want to take a moment to recognize some people. Earlier this year, in November, um, we here at Memorial hosted the Allstate Music Festival, uh, NHMEA Allstate Music Festival. We've been doing that here now for 20 plus years. So the first group I want to thank are our parent group, our POPs group. Any, any of our parents that are members of POPs, would you stand up for a moment, please? Mrs. Wander, I'm going to forget people, so if you've helped out with our POPs group people, I want to thank you for all of your efforts. There is so much that this group does for us. Um, Mr. Brian mentioned it last night at the concert that um, not only do they help us out a lot with football games and during band camp and the concerts here, but they help purchase outfits. The, um, the ladies in the choir and orchestra just got brand new gowns with the help of the, um, the parent group here at school and our parent group here. So we want to thank you for all your efforts. If you're not a member of this group and you have a child performing tonight, we'd love for you to be part. Every little bit that everybody can do just makes everything we do that much better. Coming back to November at our Allstate auditions, um, we had a large number of kids, and I didn't bring my list with us, so I apologize. Those of you who had auditioned, who are willing to put yourself out and sit in front of a college judge to be adjudicated. Would you stand up, please? <laughs> if you can only imagine what that's like, and I'm sure you can. To sit in front of a college, not only a college professor who plays your instrument and knows the music you're playing, inside and out, but there's also a college student there who plays the same instrument as you, so you're way outnumbered in that moment. Yelt, but kudos to them who auditioned. We had one student here who was accepted, and um, I'd like to take a moment to recognize Mr. Josh Latan. Sure. Josh, please stay standing. From that same group, we also had two other students who were selected to be part of the Chamber Music Festival. Emily, please stand up. And Josh. <laughs> and our third student member who's not here tonight, Merrick Leslie. So we're very excited for the great things that are happening in music. Um, so as we finish our last piece, um, we want to wish you a happy holiday. Enjoy your time with your family and friends. Just enjoy it. It, it, the world is getting to a better place, and we're hoping we're, we're able to just brighten that up just a little bit. We're going to end with a wonderful, cool piece um, by James Kernow entitled A Christmas Flourish.